Oh. So, we're back here at the Mick Excellence Experience. Last time I was here, I was riding with all those professional world champion enduro riders. That was an epic experience, to be fair. I'm here all by myself. Adam's gonna come meet me in a bit and we're gonna go hit some woods and we're gonna go to the dark side. End of May and beginning of June, I got two things happening. I've been riding the adventure bike a little bit too much at the moment. I need to get back on the enduro, get fit. I can announce it soon, but what is happening in May and then also beginning of June is mega. I have to actually pinch myself because these opportunities that come from making stupid little YouTube videos are absolutely insane. So from I think the 24th of May, I can probably tell you what it is, but stay tuned on the Instagram from the 24th of May until around the 7th of June. I'll be on my Instagram posting live the stuff that I'm doing and then you just have to wait for the videos because they're gonna be bloody epic. As for now, I'm just gonna sit in the van have a chicken ball that actually makes it into my mouth. I'll wait for Adam to turn up, so see you in a minute. All right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, I'm out with Adam, who's ridiculous. It's been a while since I've been on the enduro, so. I'm going to apologise now if I have a lot of heavy breaths. I'm very unfit. I'm an adventure bike rider now. My crew is usually the adventure boys. Now we're the enduro boys. I have no clue what Adam's got in store for me today. But it's been a very long time since we've ridden together. I miss him. And he's missed me, I can tell. Just need to remember not to follow his lines. His line choices are professional. Mine are very amateur at the best. Oh yeah, just wheelie. Adam's on a four stroke today, which is very weird because I'm used to seeing him on a two stroke, but he switched because he likes doing enduro cross. I mean, obviously I love doing enduro cross. I'm so good at it. They call me the Billy Bolt or the Millie Bolt. Look at him, he's so playful. Oh, he's already pissing me off. Yeah. Oh, where's he going? See, don't follow his lines. Yeah, you keep looking back. <laughs> Stop it! This is a joke. Oh, he's in one of these moods, which is not good for me. Oh, my front end feels really light. I think it's because I'm used to that big 890 I keep riding. I still got it! Oh, like there's a line and then there's Adam's line. <laughs> oh, one day I'd love to be that good. One day. Hello! Where are we going? Have we got Marvis now? Have we got Marvis? Yeah. Of course we have. <laughs> hang on, hang on, how bad is it? Okay, pretty bad. Well, this is the kind of training I need to be fit. Can Marvis keep up today? Let's see. How bad are we gonna get? Whoa, very slippery. Oh, I need some skill level. <laughs> I'm slacking. Yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I missed this. I missed this so much. The big bikes are fun and all. But oh, when you get back to your roots, oh, what's up here? Maybe I won't enjoy it in two minutes. Oh wow, that looks quite scary. It's a bit much that. Do you reckon I can pull off from here? That's a nice little bit of train in there. No, thank you. I literally looked at the chicken route as well. <laughs> oh wow, that's quite a big step up there. Oh god damn it, it's so close. I lifted the weight off the back as a problem when I landed. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> it felt good. You go so much further. There we go. Easy. Nice. Oh, I miss Adam. It's quite nice. I've never ridden just me and him, to be fair. So, uh, him kind of coaching me around is pretty epic. actually doing better than I thought I would. Let's try the beat then. <laughs> Everyone's been wanting it. <laughs> Where are we going? Okay. We're on Adam's beat a four stroke. Oh this feels weird. Insanely weird. Oh you do kind of feel a little bit more playful. This has got KTX suspension on it as well, which you can tell already, it feels really nice. I'm liking the beer. I've been on about it for about a year now, thinking I should get a four-stroke enduro bike amongst the fleet of bikes I have. I say fleet, I have two, but still. It's our fleet. Because it's so shaly. Look at it. Although this is tracking absolutely lovely, this. <laughs> that gets me a little bit wet. <laughs> That's very, very nice. That just seems that just seems easy. You know like when you're going for it and it's slipping on the back? Yeah. Just keeps chugging. Away. Yeah, it keeps going. It's amazing. Oh he doubled that, that was nice. I singled it. Oh these are huge! Oh my god! That is sick. This is good training. Oh, stop it. Oh, that's wet. 
These are very slippery rocks. Extremely slippery, actually. Our fair play is going nice and slow for me today. Oh, what's this? No, I'll go this way. Oh, slipped off the pegs then. I just pulled up to Adam's now, Mick, Mick Extance, the guy who owns it, that's stalled. He was like, oh, you bought an adventure bike? I said, yeah. He goes, oh, we've got to get out on them. I said, yeah, sweet. He goes, oh, we'll have a day up here, and then we'll leave here and we'll ride to Morocco. I said, you what? He said, yeah, we'll leave here and ride straight to Morocco. I've always wanted to do it. I was like, yeah, 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 fine. <laughs> that sounds class. It's a shame none of the boys could come out today. See me back on Enduro, Marvis. 2.0 is back. Oh, whoa, what's this? You having a laugh? Okay, um, I guess I've got to follow. This is, oh, I don't like this. That is so steep. Oh, <laughs> here comes the funny noises. <laughs> when you went down there, I was like, just waiting at the top going, serious, you, you are coming back, aren't you? <laughs> but sometimes it's good to be forced into it though, isn't it? He goes some mad places. But it's good, like I just said, forcing you to do uncomfortable things. Basically, get comfortable in uncomfortable situations, as they say. Suspension has made a massive difference though. I will be honest, it's made a massive difference. The engine uh, can fuck off. Okay, so we're going to a really extreme muddy hill climb. Always sounds fun. Oh, this doesn't look fun. Gee, that's slick. <laughs> it's the diagonal routes. Oh no, I haven't done this one. Wow, he's just, he, yeah, he's just gone. We better get good then. <laughs> I didn't realize it was gonna be this bad. Well, most of it done. I was so close to finishing one off. That sounds bad. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> Keep it going, even if it's on the floor, just go. <laughs> yeah, you have to go. Oh, I'll try third. I tried as long as I could then. <laughs> I even hit a tree. I'm panting, I'm sorry. If there's a way of editing out the panting, I would. Actually, I might. Actually, I'm just gonna put music over this so you can't hear the panting, okay? Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. Not that. I've, I've spotted a problem. That means I've evened out both sides if that's the case. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's see, shall we? Yes, yes, the knob's gone. Yeah, but you said if I hit a tree, keep going. <laughs> if there's any chance, you said. If I make it on this, I'll never live it down. Right, second. Third. Ah. Oh my god, it's still going.
Well, I know I sat down, but that was ridiculous. That was in third, just crawling. I might sell my bike. Madly, madly impressed with that. That was ridiculous. I do love my bike, but this, oh, this can track. Man, I'm very impressed with that beta. Or beta, or beta, whatever you call it. I guess stick, no matter how I pronounce that brand. Can't go wrong with KTM. Oh, this is the route we did with those world champions. Got a bit scared at one point. Wow. Okay, this has dug out a bit since I last came here. If I can leave here without breaking a headlight, that is a bonus. Oh my god. How can he just jump out? Right, this is where I crashed before. Don't crash again. On the pegs, okay. Good training, good training. <laughs> I always crash there. Whoa, this got slipperier. No, thank you. Right now, we're going there. See that peak up there? Yeah, <laughs> that's where he wants to go. Yay! Where are you going? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I swear, right, he only brings me out here to show off. It's the only explanation. He doesn't even enjoy my company. This is what he just loves to do all the time. By the way, if you want to ride here in the Mig Excellence Experience, I'll leave a link down in the description. I'm sure Adam can take you out for a day out. It's ridiculous. I love this place. Hello darkness, my old friend. Right, we're now heading to the dark side. Now the dark side, if you've ever seen any of my videos, where have I been here? And that's a huge corner. If you've seen any of my videos while I was here, it's insane. It's ridiculous, it's insidious, it's courageous. It's anything with an us at the end. I don't know what other words I could use. But I've got half a clutch lever, I've got half a brake lever, I've got a pro in front, novice here, and I think this is it, this is where we start. This is where I broke my light before. I've broken a light here before. Oh, you've done it again. I think I broke my light again. I think I broke it again. Don't press the front brake. Remember, don't press the front brake. This is exactly, I went into that tree down the bottom. I'm actually still pressing the front brake, which I need to stop doing. That tree there, that's where my light is. Oh, it's wet in here. So this place takes oh, a lot of pushing. I'm hope, hopefully right, I'm hoping. Adam will get to the top and go, do you know what, it's too wet. We'll just go to the viewpoint and uh, have a sit down, a little picnic, you know, and look at the view. Oh my God, it's gooey. Really gooey. It's quite wet, isn't it? It's wet, it's rooty. Oh God. Oh, my legs are everywhere. Go, go, gadget legs. Okay, I'll go round. I'll go round. <laughs> that was way too deep. I'm not a pro. <laughs> that was way too deep. Uh oh. Oh, we're dropping. Okay. Wow. Okay, this looks nothing on GoPro. Nothing. I already know when I'm in the editing, I'm gonna go, that looks flat. And everyone else is gonna go, that looks flat. But it's not. I take my word for it, I'm a very trustworthy gentleman. Oh, where's he going? He's forgetting he's riding with me. Where's he going now? Where'd he go? Oh, it's like a Enduro GP.
I like the fact we're going up. Okay, that was very close. I was doing so well, hold on. I didn't crash. I'm not that good. Keep telling yourself you're not that good. No, that's not the right attitude to have. You're the best. You're marvelous. What is this? Oh, we're in it now. I thought I was going to have a nice dry day. I don't want to be in here, I don't want to be in here. Uh, I know, okay, I know I'm riding badly. <laughs> I'm just sitting down because I'm so tired. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. We could end it. Well, this has been a lot more use since last time. There's a lot of bums on the floor. <laughs> it's like a goat trail now. Have you ever get anyone paragliding off here? Yeah. It'd be mega, wouldn't it? You could do it, couldn't you? It'd be mega. You could literally just walk straight off and it would pick you straight up. Oh, it's very windy over here and very cold, but that was a, a very nice view. I must say, my bike is like falling apart right now. Oh, hopefully we're not going down. I don't want to count my chickens too early. This is so cool though, there's no venue like this in the country at all. This is absolutely massive, like 1,500 acres of craziness. Um, it will definitely teach you to get better in enduro, which is exactly why I'm here. Need to get fit, need to get better, and I need to do it pretty darn quick. Get all the fails out of the way today, because May is coming up. I can't wait to tell you guys what's happening in May. It's mega. Absolute mega. But I've sworn to secrecy right now, and I, I will explain all on the 24th of May. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram and I'll post over there unless 24th of May lands on a Thursday when I'll upload a video and then I'll tell you on there. Whichever one. That's a tree. Whoa. Oh no, we're going down. Oh, lots of sticky outy branches. Oh, that looks hard. I knew that would happen. I forgot when you're here, you get no help. <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> How the hell did you get over that? So just lift the front wheel and pray. Well, oh, we made it out alive. Oh, yabbity! Oh, these trails would be nice in the adventure bike, wouldn't they? Until that. Oh, it feels so nice to be back on the enduro bike. So nice. Nothing against the adventure bike, I do love it. But this is my main love, enduro. I absolutely love it. Find something you love, do it as often as you can, and you will be happier, trust me. It doesn't even matter how stupid it is. A lot of people must see my videos and some of the 
places we go and the places we get stuck and just go that is horrendous that is not fun at all but we find it massively entertaining and when you've got a group of buddies to do it with huh, it just makes everything so much better imagine being Adam and having all this to play with every day oh, that's the dream get a big compound that's the dream Adam also mentioned to me not long ago about having a day here we can get loads of subscribers out um, Rob is part of it as well getting his subscribers out and just having a day where we all just go around this place and have a serious amount of fun so let me know in the comments if any of you are interested in that and then we'll see if we can make it happen because that would be absolutely epic by the way I never mentioned this but if anyone is interested in this amazing unit kit that I wear I'll leave a link in the description it's an Australian company and the kits are so nice it's unreal the best fitting kit ever and also what I film with the uh, Dango Design gripper mount, my GoPro holder for the helmet, that's also in the description. And I wish I would have read the description for this before he turned down into it. Because I would have said no. Oh yeah, this is follow Adam. Let's just follow, jeez, okay. Extremely muddy. Diagonal log, okay, that's all right. Where does this go? You never know where this go- Oh no. Oh. Okay, steep. Very steep. <laughs> oh. This is so sketchy. He thinks I'm as good as him. When he asked me if Marvis was out, I should have said no. Oh god. I bet it's been nice and dry the last few days. Like powder, innit? Oh, whoa, whoa. No way. It's a big step up. The story of my life is so close. Well, that, that's way better. <laughs> that was way better. Whoop. Which way's easier? That looks, that looks fucking vertical. This way's easier, I tell you. Man, I don't like this. I'm at the wrong angle for this. I make it so much worse for myself, don't I? Oh yeah, now, now, oh, that's going. Oh, what have I done now? Yeah, no, nah, just walk it. <laughs> I went too far. Walk it. There you go. Oh, this is better. Oh, yeah. If I cut that right, it looked like I dropped it. Well, that was squeaky bum time, wasn't it? Wow, this has cut up a lot. Whoa, that's a big boulder. Oh, you gotta look so far ahead. And this engine, I really need to do. Oh, I really need to do this out of mod. It's gonna end up seriously ruining my day at one point. Ah, oh, home sweet home. Nice. Oh, I love having a stunt double. Well, that was absolutely mega. I'm absolutely knackered. I snapped a clutch lever. I crashed my bike a lot. I didn't break a headlight. But anyway, that was absolutely mega. Thanks to Adam for an amazing day. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching Ride Safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.